Well, we have a good problem to have. There's so many options when you're in Warsaw. So it's interesting, like where we're staying, uh, it's just far enough, it's just sl different enough that like I'm like, wow, I have all these restaurants at my disposal that weren't before. I mean, they were, but I just kind of like walked on different side streets. So anyway, um, I'm not really sure where to start tonight. I think we're just gonna walk for a bit and see where we kind of find ourselves. Uh -huh. So this was a street from the 1770s. How do I know that? I just saw it on a sign. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I'm in front of a karaoke bar right now, which uh, it's not open yet, thankfully. So I can be like everyone else that comes up here and poses for their photos. I know. There's good times for you guys too, huh? Some people are looking at me like I'm freaking delirious, which I guess I am. It's kind of stupid. There's a lot of hookah um, places in Hashish. No, not Hashish. I don't know. There's a lot of hookah bars. I just passed like my third one. And I'm like, okay. So one thing I can tell you immediately as I walk around here, maybe it's the summer prices. Maybe I'm just having bad luck on the street that I'm walking on. But uh, restaurants are more expensive here than in Krakow. For people that are just catching this first time, if you go down that street, that road over there, it actually will uh, take you to the U.S. Embassy, uh, Canadian Embassy, a bunch of the embassies. Uh, and to Wazhensky Park, which is freaking amazing. Um, I hope to uh, tomorrow, when we're here for day two, we're gonna we'll head down that way um, for a brief tour, not like I did before uh, for people that were on the previous channel. But uh, we're gonna go down that way, and uh, there's a little bit of a hike I want to take tomorrow. As again, I kind of have to like pick my pieces. So uh, tonight, we're going to go to the left, up here, kind of into the middle of it all, and uh, see where we end up. Yeah, it's uh, pretty much, if you ever wanted to know what, uh, like, the popular streets like on a, on a Saturday, at 4. <laughs> you like that? At 4 o'clock, because that's when everyone's out. Uh, that's what we're going to go do right now. Well... Nope, sorry, we don't have time to go into Hustler. I do like how that they had to, they someone spray painted a uh, some the anatomical parts out front. Now I always forget the name of the square that we're getting up to, where it seems like there's always traffic. There's a really cool mosaic up here. Uh, I'll point out to you guys, but uh, there is a quieter part to the street, but. Since I'm supposed to give you a travel vlog, I will we'll deal with the masses for once. And there's a restaurant that I want to go to, closer to the old town. Found it last time that I was here uh, on a mixed bag of a date. Yes, those do exist. Maybe you guys can put in the comments, when was the last time you had a good date? Or, <laughs> sorry, let me rephrase. It sounded jaded. Uh, can you put in the comments a good place to go on a date when you're in Warsaw for people that are watching this that are native? The rain is uh, fast approaching, which sucks. If you go that way, you cross the river, the Vizwa, the Vistula, the same river that flows through Krakow. Although it's prettier up here. I mean, what else did you expect me to say? And just like last time, it's raining. What the heck? So as we cross the street, there's this really cool mosaic right here. And someone told me the story about it before. It's some sort of thing, the uprising. You know, it's very specific there. You know the, uh, how I clearly did my research again. But uh, it's cool. It looks like the guy has a grenade. I don't know. I liked it. So what we're going to do is... I think I lied. We actually are going to go down this uh, little side alleyway for right now, just to get out of the rain for a moment, collect our thoughts, show you the real sights, the real spots of uh, Warsaw. And maybe this time I won't be afraid, and we'll go into this weird-looking club I found. 
Look at this. So we got a school right here. Oh, come on, like, come on, honey. All right, so as the wind begins to pick up, I take you down the most dangerous street in Warsaw. It's not, but we'll just say it is. It sounds scarier that way. So you go this way, and everyone else is on the right right now. They're a building over, venturing through, playing their best touristy self. Well, what we're going to do, we're actually going to swing down and join them momentarily. But look at this right here. So you've got a restaurant down there that you wouldn't even know about. Here, I'll show you. I actually think I know how to get in there, too. So this is a restaurant right there. And this whole little plaza, I mean, to me, this looks really, really shady. But if you walk in these doors right here, where it says inside, and I'm like, I'm not going to go inside there, you'll look. And it's actually a restaurant where people come and I think it's also like a raving club and stuff like that. But anyway, hey. That's farther than I did last time. At least I know there's people in there, but it still creeps me out. I think it's the American in me thinking that someone is lurking, just waiting. Kind of fittingly, I think there's an Italian place right here. Yeah, you like that? We're in Warsaw, but I'm thinking Italian. Um, so they have these like cocktail bars. Uh, different, there's like a shop place right here. You know, for those adult beverages that people like sometimes. But there's an Italian place. Oh. I say that because why else would you have a truly building right here? Yeah. I clearly have hit this uh, best section. Let me show you this building right here. This looks really, really cool. Uh, I think this is this is a Georgian restaurant. And if you look up there, do you see the statues they have? That's awesome. It's pretty neat. Some women just smiled at me. Look at that. It must be the hat. They're Patriot fans. What I like, and you're kind of seeing this, this is why we went this way, is I like if you just kind of slide off the main street and you can explore and see like some, you can find some gems, if you will, especially for restaurants. I mean, as opposed to the Weed King over here, I'll probably get censored on that one. Uh, but you'll note now it's gonna be a little bit louder, a little bit busier, and a lot of dining out. And uh, last time I was here, I had a run-in with a woman um, right next to this bear, which we're going to stand in front of again so I can get a proper picture because that's how I am. I mean, look at him. Look at this bear. Isn't he cool? Exactly. So cool. So yeah, so last time I had this woman right there who was like, I don't know, she like pushed open the door and... I wasn't even in front of the door, I was next to the bear, and it was like, because I decided to be like one step in her way, she couldn't move out of the way, and so instead she grazed me. I was pissed. But welcome to this area. It's really nice just seeing like the liveliness right now of this area. I love seeing all the little shops. I also love seeing more diversity. You don't get it in Krakow. Maybe I'm wrong, but... At least not in my section of town. So see, I'm gonna be cool. We'll walk in the middle, just like these people. This is the red dress crowd right here in front of us. And then the one girl that didn't get the memo. Come on, that was kind of funny. This little girl took my unicorn right here, look. Yeah, she took it. Ridiculous. I'm so confused, I can't tell if this is a protest or what. You got police here, people holding up signs. Like, look at this. Maybe this is the Polish way to protest. Yeah, I don't know. This old woman that was really getting into the rap. Wow. I really wish I knew the lyrics. Seems like the happening tune. So we see we continue to pass all these restaurants. This appears to be the sushi section of town. I believe there was a Dunkin' Donuts over here once. I remember because I was so excited uh, by 
there being a Dunkin' Donuts after living in uh, Brindisi, the southern part of Italy. And I was there for like four months, and I came here, and I was like, oh my god, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. It was a glorious time, folks, because I was able to get a munchkin. But they don't have them here anymore. I think they uh, kind of moved out after COVID. In a uh, purely observational thing, uh, I noticed that it, on tonight's date night for people, where the ladies are dressed to the tents with heels and uh, skirts and very interesting tops, we'll say, their dates are wearing uh, shorts and t-shirts. So clearly there is a cultural aspect here. There we go, folks. Boom. Do, 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 do. I love this song. Well, before I became overwhelmed by the awesomeness of the music, um, I was going to say, so it's nice to see that across the world, uh, men don't get dressed up for their dates. And in another fashion question, or maybe just a puzzling moment I'm going to share, some of you may be able to answer for me, as tonight we are not going to go up to this uh, church right here. I'm not going in. You can't make me. Because last time I was here, the guy yelled at me because he thought I had vodka. It was a water bottle. He told me to leave. Anyway, I was just going to comment. I don't understand why that women, you ready for this? Can go into church wearing capris, but I can't go in there wearing golf shorts. Why is that? You tell me there, church. It's funny, I'm walking parallel to like Saxon Park, which is my favorite and uh, a couple other spots and instead I'm like no 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 focus focus let me show you this um, beautiful eagle here I call it the Slavic Eagle it actually motivated me for uh, the the alliance in uh, my uh, science fiction books but I have a two-headed eagle and this is a part of the uh, campus I believe this is a school. I love how they close this off because I can just do this without a problem. You go right across the street. And I don't know if there's a church here or not, but they're definitely trying to uh, get their, uh, we'll say, Roman, Greece, Roman influences here. So look at this right here. I don't know if I cut her off. There we go. All right. Anyway, you can always slide through these side streets. We're going to keep going straight, trying to humor you all tonight by being a tourist. Thank God for the uh, storm front coming in. Get a little breeze. I wish right now I could share with you the beautiful smell of these waffles right here. They're just like overwhelming my senses. So much so I don't even need to buy them because I feel like I'm tasting them already. But what I wanted to show you, aside from the little waffle, then we have the lobster house right here that I refuse to go into. Because I know it's not going to taste the same as my main lobster places. No way. More importantly, you go directly that way. You go to the best park, short of Wazinski. Oh, I mispronounced it. But anyway, you go to Saxon Gardens right there. It's beautiful. Now, there is a church that is open. And it would not be a proper tour with me if we did not manage to slide into one. So we're going to pretend we don't know any better. With our shorts and all and see if we can sneak in to this beauty right here. And then we'll go back onto the main street and do our best impression of tourists going to Old Town. And this is new. I've been to Warsaw like six times at this point. Never been in here. Well, here's to a first. We just missed Mass. Smell the incense. See the columns. I wonder if this was destroyed. I think it was during World War II. Like, I don't know what this means. Maybe someone can translate it for me. If you listen really carefully, you can hear people singing right now. 
and clearly they had a wedding in here a little bit earlier because you see how all the flowers are set up here on the side. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's go. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss just jumping into churches. I'm not gonna miss the tourists. I'm not used to seeing so many people right here. So uh, this must be a monastery or a rectory or something right connected to it. Too cool. Too cool. I just watched that crowd walk by, and I was like, what were they staring at? And you know what? I think I found them. I think I found what they thought was so important. This person right here who's talking. So let's sit next to him for a second. He can talk to me. Okay. Tell me more. Talk. I couldn't pick up anything. Is he doing a poem? Did you guys even pick up that sound? <laughs> I thought I was just going to rub his nose, but this woman just walked by and I got a little uncomfortable. Like, no, John, you can't rub his nose. You can only do that in less civilized cities. All right, we have this uh, really popular guy on a horse right near here. His name is Yosef. Yosef Panatowski. And uh, he was around in the 1760s to 1815. Anyone want to tell me what he did? I'm sure it was important. My uh, Polish history, my old Polish history, I'm more of a, I know about World War I and World War II Polish history. And uh, onwards. But... Uh, I'm more interested in this uh, entrance to a church gate right here with the gold. It's pretty cool. Now, in my attempt to be a comedian about this horse from earlier, and then focusing on the uh, on the gate, I neglected to say, I think this is where the president of Poland lives. Yeah, this is like the Polish White House. Sorry about that. Look at the nice flowers right here. Uh, I've been inside that Cafe Nero right there. I know, that's a real important fact you guys need to know. I was in there for about 30 seconds, and then I walked out. It was part of the most interesting date I've ever had. Or never had. Depends on how you want to look at it. I'm thinking that there should be rules, and that is, if you don't go on a second date, the first date didn't count. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea? Ooh, Molly Malone's. We have an Irish pub right here. So again, note all this outdoor uh, eating. This Irish pub probably would be perfect right now. Well, I have caved in and I took out my umbrella another church right here so as we approach the old town old town area um, the students church is right here so I figured we'll just sneak in real quick and then we'll cut back out onto our way look at the uh, decorum on the top So this is the uh, gem of Warsaw, the uh, rebuilt Old Town. And for you uh, non-history people, during World War II, Old Town was leveled. And if I remember right, it was also part of the uh, Jewish ghetto. Correct me if I'm wrong, there's a dance competition right here, and this lady just stopped. Thanks. I've learned how to avoid the street vendors. When they talk to you in Polish, ignore them. And then when they switch to English, continue to ignore them. Because they don't have the patience. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've made it. And we're going to go down along this wall right here. Which, it's cool because 
when I was first here, I never knew about this. Which is going to sound really stupid. Like, I think I went down that way. And I remember doing stuff. But I didn't really, like, explore this part of town. Right over here. It's cool in the sense that, like, I didn't even realize for whatever reason. I think it's because when you walk, you can only see, like, so much. And um, where I'd hit one corner of Old Town before... And I remember it vividly because there was a, uh, there was a funny, it was like a poster of hunting in Poland and it showed the deer, um, killing the hunter, which I thought was very funny for a variety of reasons. And anyway, I saw it inside over here, but I didn't, because I went a different way, I didn't realize it. And then, uh, it was the last trip that I was here that I ended up on this side of town because we on that um, the infamous night I went to a, a restaurant over here that I I didn't even know this part of town like existed so that's where we're going looks like a Greek place right here I don't think I'm going to go to a Greek restaurant here though I, I'm sure I would be sorely disappointed not that I'm anything against it just, just saying But isn't this cute? Look how precious this is. And we could go that way. There's a little restaurant right here too. But uh, we're gonna go down a little bit farther. We've come too far to not go. And it's funny, because we were gonna do this tomorrow night, but instead we're doing it tonight. One thing that you guys probably note, where are all the people, John? Exactly. You cut down this way, and where all the crowd is on that street, yeah, there's people down here, sure. And yeah, see, you look down there, there's definitely some people. But where we are, and I'm trying to get across to do this, because this is the start I missed. Though. I don't know if the, uh, I think the Rhineck is actually in there. We'll hit it on the way out. But see, we got no one here really. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. And if you look, see the nice walls that they built protecting the old town right there. And then we have more of the uh, castle. I say, well, yeah, castle. So we're gonna go that way. So again, I never knew this existed. I never knew like that was there. Like, and if I didn't know this existed, maybe you didn't know it existed. So yeah, you have to be willing to do a little bit of walking. And look, they even have a horse and buggy. I know, I am easily amused and fascinated by such things. More importantly, we're almost to the restaurant. Now look at this. Tell me this isn't cool. And again, you have your churches, of course. There's a sanctuary right here. We're going to go straight. It's definitely uh, more lively than last time I was here. But look at the deck. Look at the decor on the buildings. Oh, the lady just uh, closed Dominica's church. <laughs> I love the buildings, though. All these recreated buildings, reconstructed, that they painfully did. Gorgeous. Must be an ice cream night. We actually are walking by the Indian restaurant I ate before. What's hysterical is... is Last time there was just seating inside, and that was it. There was like two tables. But uh, we'll go there one more moment. We have to see the Rhineck. 
I don't know if it's the Rhinec, but one of their squares. Just trying to earn some money here. I love violin. It's violin, right? <laughs> I know it sounds nice, huh? You're like, I love that. And then it ends up being a completely different instrument. You know, it's funny. Like, when you walk places sometimes, like, I don't realize it's as big as it really is. But, uh, yeah, this was... This is where I wanted to head to. So you can walk down that more. So this is the Rhinec of the Novaya Miesta, of the new... Uh, new center, new place, right over here. And I like it because, big surprise, it's not as crowded. But I needed to come here because surrounded on this area is Mr. Bear. Hey, buddy. And there's multiple. There's one, there's another one down that way. And uh, I think there's probably a third or fourth. But I think they're so cute. And one of the touches that I love whenever in all these places is is look at the building behind me. Look at the uh, the paintings, I guess. The uh, artwork that they put up there. It's so pretty. And it's just something that we don't have where I'm from. So for me, it's like a fascinating thing. So I, we're not going to interrupt Mr. Bear. He's guarding. Jeez. It's summer. He's really awake right now. But look at this. Look at this new Miesta. And we'll compare it to the other one shortly after we eat church doors are open you feeling lucky it's the church to Kashmiris. it's closed right now but here here's an image and clearly i don't do it just justice <laughs> um it's interesting though so they have this first set this first door that is open but so then i guess you can kneel and see an edge of this uh church from the Benedictine Sisters of Adoration. Oh, more importantly though, there's a dog here that's not leashed, who's trying to kill birds. Come on guys, let's be responsible. Oh sorry, he's not trying to kill them. He's trying to love them, befriend them forever. All right, food, food, food's a good idea. Well, I decided to sit right near the bear if you look right across there, that's where we just came from. I couldn't wait to go to the Indian restaurant. I decided to come here instead and have some traditional Polish meals. Uh, I'm going to have pork knuckle tonight. There's a shrimp dish that I'm having, and I'm having their fresh lemonade. It's a bit pricey, but uh, I, I have this thing, like the, the romantic in me, the author in me. I always say that I want to sit outside and enjoy the watching all of the people and I can really do that if I'm here. So as much as I want to hide inside and not deal with people, this would be better for me for this evening. It is pretty. I do like summer. I like summer here a lot. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. See, from my spot, what a wonderful night, right? Wonderful summer evening. Touch of the past and the new at the same time. Let's get rid of those uh, scooters. So here's the uh, shrimp dish. All right, well, even though I'm allergic to garlic, or at least have a very high sensitivity to it, between the white wine that these shrimp are marinated in and the garlic, it is phenomenal. Yeah, it's super good. The veggies they have with it, it's definitely worth the price. Salute that. <laughs> so I don't think you can get any more traditional Polish than a pork knuckle. I remember seeing this the first time uh, in the movie Just Love Me. So, it's going to be like the um, Tato figure and the little girl, Michaelina. Uh, the pork knuckle, which is right in front of me. Um, I haven't had this before. Or if I did, I don't remember. 
But first, let's have a potato with it's like a pea puree. Mm. That's really surprisingly really really good. All right, into the pork knuckle. This underappreciated part of pig. Mm. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, I regret not having this sooner. Wow. Well, uh, dinner? Oh, actually, that was lunch and dinner. I was trying to rationalize why I just spent like 36 bucks for that meal, but then really when I thought about it, I was like, I didn't have lunch, and that was my meal, like my main meal. So now, I don't know where this is going to lead us. It might lead us to nothing, and then we end up having to cut around, but I figured <laughs> anything to take a moment to not deal with the crowds that are now, now out is what we're going to do. Uh, so last time I was here, I went to the Indian restaurant that we had passed, and uh, it was the first time I had ever really sat down and had a real like Indian meal, aside from when I was with some students uh, in Prague. Oh, look at this. This actually worked out nicely. Just cuts you right over. Love it. Does anyone need a couch? Bargain. It's free if you want to take it now. You just have to come before... You have to come and get it before anyone sees. <laughs> I feel so mischievous taking this, like, back... back way behind these buildings. But then I'm like, no. This is what I usually do. <laughs> try to find the beaten path sorry, off the beaten path it still gets you to where you're going but you don't have to deal with you know, swerving back and forth among others so one thing that was kind of interesting that was weird going, well, I don't say it's weird but like tipping here is kind of hit or miss like, I still don't understand it completely because some places say you don't have to tip. Others make it a requirement. Well, sorry, sorry. Others have it built in, and then um, wow, making it clear. That's awesome. So they're towing it, and the alarm's going off. Pretty cool. In true to form, people are walking like a bunch of a bunch of idiots, like usual. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> it's just how it is. Um, and the more people there are, the crazier it is. But what I was going to say is, for back to the tipping thing, it throws me off because some places, if you want to um, add on via, via card, you can't. And then there's others that actually have, like, I didn't realize until after the fact on that lady's, uh, on the register, on the register, on the, um, on the receipt book that it said gratuity's not included. And I'm like, well, yeah, but what's customary? Anyway, that's our rambling moment for the night that I still have not figured out tipping here after all this time. So, hey, viewers, viewers at home, typically I've just been adding 10%. Just throw it in there if I have changed. Um, what is customary? Is it really your own judgment call? Look at this right here. This is awesome. This is the antiquity shop. This has a slight Malta feel for me. Look at all the amber. Hey, Aunt Judy, you want anything? <laughs> and then for your beer people right here now it's funny here I see people with a bunch of their for the ice creams where if I was in Krakow I'd see them with beer well they'd have ice cream too but just more people carrying open container maybe they actually enforce it here now we're going to the Rhineck right now oh my god I know you guys want to focus on more important things, but look at Mr. Plushy right here. Right down there, look. Look at him. He needs a home. 
little bar action here. So during the winter time, they have a ice skating rink. Uh-oh, someone's guy's got a parrot. So check this out. Now, for my Krakow viewers, no offense, but I like this square better. And I'll show you why. Yes, I know this is not as old. I mean, they had to rebuild it after World War II due to those, due to the Germans. Uh, and I'm going to make a correction this time before we even, before the video is even made. The destruction of Warsaw, I put as much blame on, on the Soviet Union as I do on the Germans because the Soviet Union sat across the river and let, and let the city burn. And I'm sticking to that, regardless of what other people write in the comments. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. You got all your restaurants. Now they have them anyways. But they painfully, is it painstaking? Forget the saying. Anyway, they've done such a great job with all these buildings. No, I'm not a big fan of noise, but I could handle staying in a apartment or rental in this square for a night. It's just so beautiful. I I think it's the writer in me that says, hey, like again, just like when we were just sitting out at, out, out at the restaurant and taking things in, that uh, this would be a place that I could just see myself sitting or watching from the windows, seeing what's out there. And there's a nostalgia aspect. First trip to Warsaw, I came here, and, uh, and as I said, I found it super lovely. For you loser book fans, I want to show you something that came about because that in my Volo book and in Lane, because I wrote Riley beforehand and Luza, but look, these animals on this building, they were here then. Last time I was here, like, well, years ago when I visited, and those inspired me, as did the uh, lion right here. So these little pieces inspired the book, wanted me to get more involved for Volo, especially. There's uh, two people over here, some vendors that are uh, trying to get people to hold snakes. No thanks. Thank you. So how many people at home would pay to uh, hold a snake? Besides my cousin Brian. Anyone? Any takers? As you see, this is a lot more of the, uh, we'll say, the gimmicky part of town. They definitely are trying to cater to uh, the tourists. I just bumped into a kid and instead of saying, this is a parashim, I immediately said, excuse it. So... Also, another thing that inspired Luza is this guy right here. I saw him right in front of this church, and I was like, I need that in my book. It's the uh, cathedral right here. <laughs> you can see this from the outside. No, no. Oh, the camera's being moody. You're not funny, camera. I don't think we can go in. If you look right there, it's a cool... Uh, Memorial to 1944 to 1963. The organ's beautiful though. Nah, it's Catholic. You see, like, first of all, the first thing. Look at this. High arches. Someone's practicing because there's an organ performance tomorrow. This is what took took my eye though right here. Now, one thing they have in this church, and I noticed it, it you, but you have to buy tickets for is to go down to the crypt level. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to read the sign to see what this is. So it's the Basilica of Jesus Christ. If I'm translating it right, right over here. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Basilica, uh, Arch Cathedral, Yano, Priest. I think it's the, the Basilica of Jesus. 
The church next door is actually prettier, in my opinion. But uh, hey, we actually got to go into that one for once. Um, so as we leave, because literally we're now looping back out of the Old Town area with this mime. That's pretty impressive. He's just sitting like that. Just had a lady who was trying to get me to buy um, some of the tickets to go listen to a Chopin performance tomorrow night in that same uh, church. But uh, I think we'll have other things to do. But if you're into that, walk down here on a Saturday night and and not only just here, but there's other churches where they do all these uh, musical performances. And what do you know? We have made it back. Made it back to the center of Old Town, of the older area, and the busy street. And I think this is where I'm going to bid you guys adieu. Uh, I'm going to call it a night. And uh, But hey, I appreciate you coming along, seeing this part of Warsaw with me. Uh, there will be another part, so hopefully you'll join in and uh, see another section of town that's not so busy. Or maybe it will be. Who knows? We'll find out together. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.